go. Okay. What's going on, you guys? Thanks for stopping back to the channel today. We're diving into a free-to-play first-person shooter called Shatterline by Frag Labs, and uh, this is a really cool game. Uh, it plays really well. It's uh, a decent amount of fun. It's very familiar to if you know or have played anything like Call of Duty, and I mean when I say Call of Duty, I mean more of the older Call of Duties, uh, I think more like Black Ops and things like that. Um, it's got some Apex elements as well, uh, hero characters essentially. Things that generally I'm not all that into, but this game does pretty well, and because it's a small studio, it's even more impressive how smooth the game runs. Uh, listen, guys, I do appreciate you stopping by, but if you're enjoying this content, this channel, uh, this video, anything that we do here, please drop a like for this video. Uh, maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure you click that bell for more notifications. So, let's get into some of the uh, gameplay here. Shadowline is offering up four PvP modes, including Team Deathmatch, Conquest, Plant the Bomb, and an Escort-style game mode, which I found quite a bit of fun. I'd never really played one before. I know, obviously, they exist. Uh, maybe most famously, you might say, in uh, Overwatch, which I if you still yet to play. I think I probably have to give that one a shot, too. But um, really enjoyed that. I mean, I, the PvP was, was good uh, almost always as far as just it working well. The game speed is good, f and knowing that it's the style game is arcade, arcade style. Um, gunplay feels pretty good. It's not terribly hard to, to deal with recoil, but you wouldn't expect it to be, considering the kind of game that this is. Um, as long as you're in a region, uh, as long as you're searching for a server or getting a server in your region, which you can specify, which is good, um, you're not going to have really any, any issues with hits, you know, feeling like you didn't get kills you probably should have. Um, I certainly did because I <clears throat> was willing to play in multiple uh, regions, and I think one of them was in Brazil, and it just, that was, that was a bad idea found myself getting killed when I was shooting people way before they were, but that's definitely a product of the server. So uh, there was a play test that I was in um, that lasted a week, but I only got in the last day, really. There was the last two days, but only one day I was able to play. There's another one coming up on uh, August 29th that will last through September 4th. Again, this is a free-to-play game, so if you're interested in trying it out, go to Steam, uh, pick it up there for free. Uh, you'll have a whole week coming, uh, starting on the 29th, uh, to give this a shot. I do think it's worth it. I mean, I think it's a great change of pace to, you know, what I'm, at least what I'm normally playing, which is usually more tactical style uh, shooters. This, I found this to be quite a bit of fun. And there's also PvE, um, both on and offline, uh, and a small... I guess campaign mode you might say, which I didn't get a chance to dive into, but I certainly will um, coming up here when this next playtest starts. So uh, give me a shout. Let me know if you've tried this or if you plan to. I look forward to uh, hearing your comments about it. Um, again, thank you guys for stopping by the channel. Uh, we will see you later on.